Hey everyone, right behind me is Chesterfield Mall. Growing up, I had many, many different memories about this very mall that's about to be torn down. And when I got the news that Chesterfield Mall was going away, I was just stunned because this mall meant a lot to me. This mall was my getaway whenever I had problems in college and dealing with the stress of homework, teachers, students, and things of that nature, I would come right here to this mall. I would catch the 258 Metro bus or the 91 Olive Metro bus. And the 91 Olive Metro bus was the one that I uh, caught the most because it took a long, long time to get here and I would sleep on the bus to relax my mind. And back here, you see that over there, that's where the bus stop was. When a bus would let me off, I would it would let me off right in front of the doors and I would just like walk there. But now we don't have, uh, we're not gonna have Chesterfield Mall anymore. And they're demolishing this. Like you can see they demolishing this whole thing. And I'm gonna miss Chesterfield Mall. And as time went on, a lot of the stores kept leaving, such as like H&M, uh, Sears was one of their anchor stores, they left. And uh, I just seen the writing on the wall around 2015. This mall pretty much was dying. And now it's just a shell. Now it's about to be destroyed. And to me, I don't like the idea of a Chesterfield downtown. I feel that we have a, enough downtowns as it is. But maybe it would be great. I don't know. I hear I, From what I hear, they're going to keep the Macy's building and this uh, dealer's building up. But to me, I felt they, they could have revamped them all. Maybe they could have had like roller coasters in the mall. Maybe they could have had a Ferris wheel. They could have done something with the mall. I mean, it's a lot of ideas out there. You could have had, like I said, an indoor amusement park. But to me, if I was the developer of this mall, I would not, you know, shut the mall down. I would not like tear it down. What I would have done is put some roller coasters. And that's what St. Louis is missing. St. Louis is missing like a, a attraction good attractions to actually make the mall like good but see we don't have that no more so now what's going to happen is they're going to tear this mall down and it's going to take months for them to uh demolish the mall and then after they demolish the mall now they got to even the ground out and once they even the ground out what they're going to do after that they're going to start building right here y'all is the old dillard's it shut down due to the water main break. And as you can see, it's a lot of graffiti up here. You know, you got people writing Trump and, you know, profanity. See right here, you can see somebody wrote, rest in peace, Chesterfield Mall, 1976 to 2024. Gonna miss this place. I'm really gonna miss this place. This dealer's never opened back up due to a water main break. This was one of my favorite stores up at this mall because they had so much variety of different suits. I mean, it was, it was so extravagant. And then when they closed it, it never opened back up. I'm like, what's going on here? I mean, are you guys gonna open back up? And they never open back up, sadly to say. Right back here is Macy's. They're gonna keep this building up for the downtown Chesterfield, just like uh, Dillard's. And uh, this was another extravagant store, but what they did was they moved Macy's into a uh, plaza next to Walmart uh, uh, down the highway. But I mean, this place had their anchor stores and when the anchor stores kind of started to fade away, everybody seen the writing on the wall. All I can say now, Rest in peace, Chesterfield Mall. I will never forget this place. I will never forget all the good times I had. Sometimes I'd be stressed out about what went on in school and I would just come here. This was my getaway. This was my getaway. And now another mall in St. Louis is about to come down. And I understand Amazon then took everything over. 
I understand malls can't thrive the way they once did, but I'm gonna miss this place. This place meant a lot to me. And hopefully this downtown Chesterfield will be good. I'm, I'm not really excited about it because all they're gonna do is put apartment uh, uh, complexes on this very property and retail and stuff. And nobody's, and, and most people won't be able to afford those apartments. So me personally, if they was gonna demolish this, at least put like an amusement park out here or something, put something fun. Stop putting all these apartment complexes that most people are not gonna afford to, to stay in. I mean, the cost of living is high with this inflation era that we live in in America. So I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't want to see this go, but rest in peace, Chesterfield Mall. You will, you will be very, very, very missed.